Hello my friends, Vladimir is here and today is a really special day for me because I'm going, finally I'm going to make videos about people, uh, like-minded people, motorcycle enthusiasts, producers and uh, people who are related to motorcycle community. Uh, also I will make a long trip for on, on my Royal Infield Humanity, it is the first one and I'm going to a city called Taejeon. Uh, it is about 150 kilometers from here, from Sunnam, where I live now. And today's episode about a man who came here from United States, and he is working here. And his hobby uh, at restoring old Japanese motorcycles. Uh, he is restoring several of them. Uh, and by the way, he will tell a story about himself and about his projects by himself. Let's get started. I met Patrick and his friend Kwan. Changes, sir? Uh, yeah. New. Of course, sir. Why? Kwan and his friends invited us to have dinner in Korean restaurant. Of course, I said yes because travelers, as a students, we are always hungry. I'd like to say thank you to Patrick's friend Kwon and his business partners for treating us with such incredible lunch. Thank you guys for your hospitality. This dish is Korean and called kimchi jjigae and usually any dish in Korea is served with so-called panchan which are kimchi and salads to main dish and they are free of charge. My name is Patrick Miles. I've been on motorcycles my whole life, really. Both my mom and dad both rode motorcycles. I've also had two older brothers, so go-karts, uh, mini bikes, snowmobiles. Um, uh, was all part of part of my upbringing, really. So tipping point, pretty much from 
the day I can remember, really, just always had to have a bike, something to ride. Speaking of first love, these were my first love, you know, back in the day. So these, uh, although I'm over 50 years old, um, I still like these kind of bikes because they were something when I was in high school, I, I wanted, I needed to have. I had pictures on my wall. And uh, now, you know, 30 years later, I'm able to afford them a little bit uh, and find them. So, uh, yeah, I, you know, there's still many uh, bucket list items I need to check off. This was one um, that uh, I remember having this over my dresser. There's a picture of this bike. It was a blue colored bike. Um, but, uh, and it was actually an RG500. This is an RG400. Uh, but same bike, uh, just a little bit different size board. We didn't come from a lot of money at all. So the things that we had, we had to, uh, we had to buy. We had to keep running. And that's probably one reason why I like tinkering uh, with bikes is because, uh, you know, I had to do it uh, to keep them running uh, back in the day. But now I can actually afford instead of just kind of um, barely keeping them running, I can actually uh, get them running properly. My current project, this is always a project. Uh, anything old, uh, always you always have to, uh, at least I always have to, my, my skill level. I'm always tinkering with something or there's something that's always a problem. But this is always an ongoing project or an upgrade. Uh, you know, pipes or air cleaners or jetting or uh, just trying to get different pieces to make it more uh, original. This uh, RG is always an ongoing project with different parts or upgrades or jetting or something. Uh, but it's pretty much done, I think. So he's got a neutral bike that comes on. There's no electric start, obviously. Engine run. And down here, most people probably don't know what this is. Kickstart only, right? took it off it looks it looks more definitely like a more racy bike with that on great country actually great people uh, I mean look at this right here you know what I mean this is a prime example of 
One reason why I stay is because I'm out in the country, beautiful mountains all around me. Uh, uh, Juan, a, a guy that I, I just met driving my motorcycle by here a few times. He had some toys out here, some different American vehicles, and stopped by, talked to him. A couple years later, he set me up with this uh, uh, container. And uh, yeah, I, I, I'm too comfortable to leave now, I think.